Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today we're gonna to have a look at the device manager inside of Cubes. The device manager is a powerful little tool that allows you to push different devices you have plugged in or integrated into your computer into the different cubes. This is the one thing that it was a little bit more difficult to figure out where to get, you know, where and how to get webcams to work and things like that in the past. This is one of the issues that the newer version of Cubes has resolved with the device manager. So you can go down there and as you plug something in, uh, so in this example here, we're going to plug in a UB key. If you plug in a USB drive, you plug in a webcam, uh, all these types of things. Of course, I'm doing this on the laptop this time, and the laptop has an integrated microphone and an integrated camera, and you can see that those are not accessible anywhere until I actively add it to a cube. So that is what your device manager is going to do. So let's head on over to the Cube's uh, operating system, and we'll show you how to use that device manager to make it work. We're first going to add a few applications to show you how the camera and the microphone are going to pick up, and then we're going to go ahead and... Um, uh, walk you through how to make those changes. Today on our Cubes tutorial, we're going to have a look at the device manager. And to do this, I'm going to grab a USB device uh, that we can plug on in. And we're going to show you guys how you can add devices to your system. Now before we do that, I want to install a package here that is going to allow us to see our uh, just to allow us to test web cameras and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and boot up the Debian template here. And let's go ahead and just boot this guy up. And we're just going to grab the terminal. And with the terminal set up, then what we're going to be able to do is install a couple applications that we're going to propagate down through all of our different builds. So let's go ahead and do a sudo apt install. We're going to do simple screen recorder and we're going to do cheese. This is going to allow us to test the microphone and the camera. Uh, cheese technically will test both but the simple screen recorder will allow us to see the uh, see the thing working without actually hitting the record button. All right, so there we have it. Uh, we are installing those. And then once these are installed, then we will need to restart any uh, VMs that are using the template. And then we'll be able to go in. Let's go ahead and exit that out. Okay. So now we're going to, we're just going to shut down the personal one because what we want to do next is I want to go into our um, settings and I want to add those items into our applications. So over here we have cheese is now an option and simple screen recorder is now an option. So I can go ahead and add those, hit apply. And I guess I could have hit OK. Now we're going to go into our personal and let's load up cheese. Now as we do this, then what we're going to notice is it's going to tell us that we do not have a uh, camera set up. Because cheese, remember, is a, going to be an application that's going to use our camera. And what we're going to do first is I'm just going to use the integrated webcam on the laptop. But this is kind of cool because it's not going to allow your laptop uh, camera to run uh, quite yet. It is working. Let's see. Cheese, are you working? Interesting. In all of my tests, Cheese actually worked. Let's boot up a terminal. Really? It exists. That's interesting. Let's restart this just in case. Uh, oh, 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 I know my problem. Uh, because we actually have to shut down the, remember we have to shut down our template VMs in order to get changes. So cheese registers there, but it's not actually loading because the 
um, VM was not the the template was not shut down. We have to shut down our templates anytime we make changes. Okay, shut down. There we go. Now we shut down. Now we're going to go ahead and start the personal backup. And now the personal start back up. Now let's load up cheese. Okay. Now it works. It tells us there is no device found. So the reason is, is that Cubes is going to isolate all of the different items out. And any device that it recognizes, it's going to show into the device manager. So that's what we have over here. So we have data blocks. Uh, these are going to be now all of these are actually the um, the other SSD that's installed on the computer. So this is actually my Linux Mint build uh, since this runs some couple different things. We have a microphone set up. We have a Logitech USB receiver, which if I throw this into personal, my mouse is going to stop working. So don't do that. And then we have our integrated webcam. This is the one that is on the computer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my YubiKey. So now I've plugged in the YubiKey. And you can see it says device now available, a YubiKey. So now you'll see that this is going to show up in our system. So now I can force this to jump onto any system. So if I wanted to keep this UB key plugged in, I can toggle it between different VMs in order to use it securely. All right, we're going to go ahead and take that guy out for now because we don't need it right this second. But what I am going to do is we're going to integrate a webcam and we're going to attach it to personal. While we're doing that, we're also going to add the microphone to personal. So now my personal cube has access to my microphone and my camera. So we're going to go ahead and load up Cheese now, and it should find the webcam. Look at that. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? It's too late at night, so I'm not in my official STL gear. But uh, you can see now that our web camera works. And the other program I'm going to load up is Simple Screen Recorder uh, because with Simple Screen Recorder loaded up, then we should be able to view our audio as well. Yay, our audio is working. You can kind of see that. And it's pulling in a lot of background noise. But uh, we can actually come over here, Audio Mixer, Recording, and... We can pull this guy down a little bit if I know which one it is. Is it this one? Is it this one? Check, check. Hmm. Check, check. I don't know. It's one of those. <laughs> Just need to figure out which one it is. Uh, but we can go ahead and make adjustments to our microphone in there now that it's attached. And, of course, once you want to stop using it, you can see the bold ones are attached. It's going to tell you where. You can go ahead and eject it from the individual places. So that is how easy the device manager is to use. Any device that you plug into your system is going to appear over in this listing and then you can force and redirect it down to any individual place. Uh, so of course we also looked at adding a program. Don't forget I missed the step of shutting down the template VM. You have to do that uh, in order for the new applications to show up. And then, of course, we made the changes, as we talked about in the last video, to add a few options to our system. You see my menu here is a little bit getting a little bit bloated. I probably should not have put all of the LibreOffices there and just put just the base LibreOffice. That'll cover everything. But anyway, that is that. So there is your device manager. And this is all done by managing, um, it's all done by managing uh, uh, an internal device manager and the uh, USB manager that we installed on the original setup. And of course, uh, I did set up the, this one got set up where it does not automatically connect the mouse, it asks you first. So that was an extra good security step, which seemed to only apply if you did that on the laptop uh, with, because it has a trackpad as well. Uh, because on the main desktop computer I installed Cubes on, even with that option set, it still did pick up the mouse on the first build. Maybe that's because there was no other one to be used. 
But anyway, uh, there is how we can use our device manager to force individual devices onto individual cubes and how you can get those used for managing your workspaces. As always, leave uh, in the comments down below any questions that you have about cubes as, as I'm working on various tutorials, then I will go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and get those uh, into the workflow so we can get those questions answered. So hopefully that little tutorial was useful for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any additional questions. Thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.